The next one that I want to do is we'll do about matches so that we can do like a password uh, confirm type thing and we can say matches so we can look and see if two of these match so if value is not equal to source rule value okay then we want to say match is equal to items rule value display and we'll call this match display to make a bit more sense what we're doing here okay and then um, you'll say this add error um, hmm, let's try match display and display must match and again this needs to be an array that'll make sense later because we're going to actually do something with that. And we'll break. All right. Um, another really cool one that we need to do, well, let's do a unique. Okay. So if Well, this one needs to make a database call. So first of all, let's do our check. We're gonna say this db query select item from rule value where item is equal to this okay and then we'll go ahead and bind the value there okay so then what we can do and we can say if um, check count or basically what we're going to do if it's unique say we want a unique email which is a good idea then we're going to search for select email from and then we're going to pass it in a table where email is equal to value okay so that's how that's going to work so if any of those are returned then we're going to add an error this Okay, we'll say display already exists. Please choose another display. Okay. We'll also pass that item. And we'll break. Okay, now there are that's we can check for unique um, for adding new or inserting things into the database however if we're updating this and we just check unique um, that's going to be a problem so we actually need to have a unique update as well so that we can pass it an ID and make sure that you know we can pass in an ID and, and, and check that if it exists, it, it matches the ID, and then we won't we won't have a problem if it does. Okay. So T, we'll just say explode, explode it by the comma, and what are we going to explode? Our rule value, and this will make sense when we use it because 
what we're going to do is pass it an array as a, as a rule value, and the array will be a table and then the ID. So the, this one is just going to take a table. This one needs a table and an ID. So table will equal t0, uh, and ID will equal t1. Okay. So then what we do is run our query. This db okay. So we can say um, select all from table where ID ID is equal to Oh, where ID is not equal to, we'll bind that. We'll say and um, item equals, and we'll bind that one as well. That'll be our value. So that will look like this. The first one's going to be ID. And then the next one is going to be the value. Okay, so that's how that's going to work. So then we can say if whoa no. So if query count, and then we'll add our um, error. It's again, going to be Please choose another display. Okay, and then item. And after that, if statement, we will break. Okay, we only have a few more of these. Um, want to make it kind of robust and you guys could add you know lots of these so is numeric uh, we'll say if not is numeric value and we'll say this add error one more uh, how about valid email so we're going to say if not filter var value filter valid email and this is all just based um, PHP check here um, we'll say this must be a valid email address Okay, and then we will break. So basically, it's going to go through all of these rules, and it's going to go through all of the items that we pass it. And once it does that, um, if it makes it all the way through this, there will be no uh, errors set. But if any of these um, make it into the if statement where they add an error, um, it, 
it's going to use this add error method, which will populate this uh, errors here. So we'll write in the next video. Let me see how much time we got. Yeah. Um, with the break here, and in the next video, we're going to go ahead and write a few more methods that we can use in this validate class.